guys, so this is the first video that I'm filming in the new space. It's still a little echoey and I apologize about that. Um, it's full of furniture, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we're working with all natural light and I love it. But I wanted to film first a chatty video. I wanted to do like a talky chit chat random subject video. They're one of my favorites to film and I thought it would be a good way to welcome into the new place, into the new filming area. Let me know if you like this background. I've got a plant back there and a mirror and a hallway. So this video is called I Have a Choice, which sounds super cheesy and when I'm talking to people about it, it's like, it just sounds corny and it was almost called I Can Do It, which kind of sounds even worse. And it's really no way of sounding, of not sounding corny when you're talking about it, but it's something that is very relevant to me in my life right now and I wanted to share my thought just a, a series of thoughts with you, I guess. So as most of you know, if you follow me on social media, my life is a tad bit stressful right now, and I know it's all perspective, and that's something I'm gonna talk about, but it's very stressful. I have finals next week. I just moved in here last week. I had two dental-related appointments last week as well, and it kind of all hit me at once, and I almost had a panic attack in Olive Garden. And it was just a lot. I think I had a test that week too or something. I can't remember, but something school related was happening. I had moving that week and then also the two, I had an ortho appointment and then a dental cleaning, whatever. Well, the cleaning led to me having to get a root canal, which I don't, you know, if you know me, I have a severe dental anxiety and it's something that I've never really talked about that much on my channel because I mean, I've mentioned it here and there, but it's, it is very severe for me. And this time I just broke down and cried in the, you know, in my dentist's office. And I was like, I need help. I need something. I can't face this appointment without something. That's just the best example I'm going to use in this video for the topic that I'm talking about. But it can really re relate to any kind of topic or, you know, situation that you're struggling with. It's not gonna cure any mental illness. It's not easy to do by any means, but it's just something to remind yourself of if you're going through hard times or if you're struggling with something like I am with the dental appointment. So it kind of started with uh, the other day in class, in my cross-cultural class, we were talking about stress and the different cultures' reactions to stress and ways to reduce it. And something he said really stood out to me, and that is feeling like you have a choice reduces stress. It's related to being in control. The more we feel in control about something or our lives in general, the more likely we are to not feel as stressed out about it because stress kind of der derives from feeling out of control and just like everything is going wrong and you know, you know how it goes. And an amount of stress is actually a good thing. Anxiety, however, is not and that is kind of what it can develop into and that's what it's been hap what's happening to me and I am usually not an anxious person. When I was on antidepressants, my anxiety was really bad and so I went off of them which, you know, was weird because normally people well, or you know, you'll get prescribed antidepressants to help treat anxiety, so the fact it caused it was bizarre. And then afterwards my anxiety decreased and then I, I don't know what happened, but I, I was talking to my therapist this morning actually and I was like, I don't know what happened, but I feel like I was such a go with the flow person. I was so chill, I was so never stressed out and I didn't understand stress really. It's frustrating because I wanna go back to how I used to be of course, because obviously that's ideal to go with the flow. However, like I said, a certain amount of stress about certain things is good. Sometimes a little anxiety or I shouldn't call it anxiety. A little stress about an exam can help us focus more. So what I think really helps is changing the language that we use with ourselves about a situation. So instead of saying, oh, I have to do a root canal, I'm gonna change that and say, I choose to do a root canal because my tooth needs it, but I don't necessarily have to do anything. I'm choosing to be in school. I'm choosing to take these exams to pass my classes. No one says I really have to. And then it makes me feel like I'm a little bit more in control of the situation, that I have an out. If I wanted to, if I really wanted to, I have an out. I can leave, I can peace out, I don't have to do anything. Granted, you have to be really strong-willed if you do give yourself that choice because I know sometimes that's the easier route to go. Like, of course we don't want root canals. Of course I don't wanna go but I know that I need to get it done to keep my tooth, so in that sense, I have to get it. But in my mind, I'm looking at it as I'm choosing to get it. This isn't gonna work with every situation, of course. This is just light anxiety, light stress about things in your life. As I've talked about before uh, on my channel, I do have seasonal affective disorder, which is 
where I get depression in the winter months. And it's really difficult and it's definitely bled onto my channel a little bit. You know, my channel has definitely suffered because of the move and just all the stress that I've been under that when I get a moment, I take it and some days it's just really hard to get up and do things. But I do have school and finals week is next week, thank God. So I will be back on YouTube a little bit more full time than I have been. I know it's been lagging and I'm sorry. I know you guys have noticed and I do apologize. It's, it's really hard sometimes and you know, I've heard someone say that YouTubers should not complain. And I went on a whole rant about it on Twitter because it just pisses me off sometimes that people will say, YouTubers have it so easy, like it's not a hard job. And granted, it is not the hardest thing in the world, let me just say. However, what you perceive as hard or what I perceive as hard is totally different. And someone with, who's struggling with depression trying to maintain a channel, it's difficult, okay? I can't always get up and film and put on makeup and you know, edit videos. I, I, that's not always what I'm in the mood for. I didn't mean for this video to turn into like a, a rant or a venting video by any means. It was kind of to help you guys more, but it turned into me venting my feelings. But it's real talk. This is just the, the stream of consciousness happening. Um, oh, I wanted to ask you guys if you want me to do the strip down challenge, which is where you talk for 10 minutes without editing. But back to the point of the video, it's about being in control. If you feel in control of your life, then chances are we're gonna be a little less stressed out about it. I think it's also about appreciating what we have, even the negative side effects of it, like with school. Of course it's stressful, but I'm so grateful that I'm in school. I can't necessarily afford it because I have student loans, but like I, I'm going to school and you know, with the dentist and getting a root canal and stuff, it's like at least I have the option. Not everyone does. Not everyone has insurance or money to afford that kind of dental work. So just remember when you're talking to yourself about your life and things like that, try not to use the word half or I have. Try to translate your language into more of I have a choice or I can do this. I choose to do this and then you'll feel more like you actually can do it because you are the one in control. You're choosing to do it. No one's really forcing you to do something. In the big picture, of course we have things that we have to do or need to do, but looking at it in a big picture, we don't actually have to do anything. I hope this helps you guys out while we're in finals and in this winter season. For me, it's a really hard time of year and I know a lot of you, for you it is too. And you know, the holidays, which can be really stressful for some people who suffer from mental illness and just know that you're not alone you can get through it and you will I actually wanted to make this video a little bit as a reminder to myself oh the cat out there is so pretty I kind of wanted to be able to look on it and be like I remember when I gave that advice and I need to follow my own advice and if I put it out there it's more likely I'm gonna be held accountable to you know take my own advice and change my language into I choose to do it. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure to leave some video requests down below. I am going to be cracking down a little bit more. I'm trying to create like a schedule for myself. I feel like that would be a little bit more productive for me. So I'm really excited for that, but make sure to leave some video requests down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's been years.